Mike Francesa Show is presented by Verizon Fios. Mike Francesa on the fan on this 24th day of January, another freezing day here in New York. Knicks in action tonight as they take on the Celtics. We get closer towards uh, Super Bowl week down in New Orleans. Uh, we have three trips to give away over the next two days. So uh, we will try to give away a couple of trips today. We will work on that. We did not give one away yesterday. Uh, we will try to give one away today. And we'll at least give one away today. Maybe we'll give two away. We'll see what kind of generous mood we are. We'll see how uh, things are going. And see how quickly people are responding today when we do play. I'll tell you when we do. And obviously we open today with a little bit of a new era because we waited for the Jet uh, press conference today. I got in the car so I could listen to it as I drove in. And I had been, as I told you the other day, forewarned would be a good way. Um, the new Jet general manager has a at least one close friend in the in the New York community, maybe more than one. I might have more than one for all I know. But he at least has one who is in our business and who told me that this guy is a guy who's going to be, you know, very smart, very forceful, very, you know, very much the right guy for the right time. And one of the questions today, and I don't know who asked it, uh, was phrased that, hey, this has been painted as a bad job. And frankly, in NFL circles, it has been painted as being the worst of all the GM jobs. And that might or might not be accurate. I mean, I'm sure there were some franchises that would rival it. But listening to the press conference, just going on what you heard today, forget disputing its background of personnel. Tried to, he tried to paint that he had a much more elaborate background in personnel than has been given him credit for. He tell people to go out and research it, okay, which is an inter interesting way to answer the question. Go out and research it. Well, most of those people had done that. What they came back with was this is a guy who is a business guy who in recent years had asked to be more involved in personnel to build his resume so he could get one of these general manager jobs. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being ambitious. Nothing wrong with being more well-rounded in your profession. Nothing wrong with any of that. But the bottom line is, and this is what you want to know, and you did not get the answer to the question today that you wanted, which was, who is calling the shots on personnel? What you got was a guy who came off very, very overwhelmed, a guy who was anything anything but in total control of that press conference, who made some unbelievable statements. Number one, number one, there's nothing wrong with the Jets. Well, if there was nothing wrong with the Jets, why would you be here? If everything is perfect and everybody is great in the organization and everyone there is top flight and let's play like a Jet, the last thing any Jet fan wanted to hear the new general manager say is that you're going to play like a Jet. They don't want you to play like a Jet anymore. They want to play better than a Jet. They want to change the way the Jets play. The idea that play like a jet is something that is a good thing is exactly why people are scared about what they heard today. Because the fans don't want you to play like a jet. They want to change the way the Jets play. So play like a jet doesn't work. And, you know, this is not a dysfunctional organization. Everybody here is great. Well, first of all, how would you know everybody's great? You just got here. And if everybody was great, use your noodle. You're supposed to be an educated man. If everybody was great, why would you be here? You're here because it's a dysfunctional, bad organization that can't get out of its own way and has bad personnel. You just finished saying, I went down and met everybody at the ball game. I went down and met everybody in the personnel department. They're all great. If they're all great, why are you picking lousy players? They're all great. We're all great. Rex is great. The owner's great. Everyone came out to shake my hand. Duh, you're the boss. What do you want them to do, throw things at you? 
Hey, you know what? I was very impressed. Everyone had come in here and met and shook my hand. No. What do you want them to do? Kick you in the rear end? You just got there. You're the boss. You now run the place. At least for a little while. He said he was a football guy, and then on the next sentence said, but I don't know what a football guy is. If you don't know what a football guy is, how do you know you are one? This was on a on a opening opening press conference. This was somewhere between awful and disappointing. It was not disaster, but it was close. It was anything but forceful. Anything that would make any fan, nothing in anything you heard would make anybody confident. Everything in the organization is great. Woody's great. Rex is great. The personnel department's great. The people who work there are great, except everyone who's listening knows that's not true. Otherwise, why would they have hired you? Come in and say you're going to make changes and shake things up. And not that we're going we're gonna to come out and play like Jets. Like that's a good thing. What does that mean? You're going to run into the back of the players' rear ends again or what? What, is it, what is exactly does that mean? You're going to fumble the ball again against the Pats? We're going to play like Jets. Rex is great. Rex, who a couple of days ago couldn't even drive his car. I mean, this is the stuff that is laughable. That's why the organization is a joke. This is a what you need someone to go in there and say, listen, we're going to change the way we do things. We're going to stop being a laughing stock. You need someone to come in here and say, I know what it means. I know what the connotation is to be a Jet. I understand. I want to change that. This guy came in and said, I want to embrace that. Anyone listening knows that's not what you wanted to hear. You want someone to come in here and say, hey, it stops now. We stop being a laughing stock now. We stop being a circus now. Not, we're going to have a consensus because we're all great at what we do. I, I can't believe I came here. I just got here, but I came here and everybody's great. We're all great. Everybody is great. I met them, they shook my hand, they're all great. If they're all great, why are you here? If everybody's wonderful at their job, why are you here? Why are they 6 and 10 looking for a new, a new general manager if everything's great? I mean, did you learn anything? Anything. Did you find one thing in that that would give you confidence? You heard about his family? Hey, listen, everyone's proud of their family. I have no issue with that. I don't think you want to elaborate on his father's tenure with the Jets because it was not a good time. I'm not going to sit here and knock his father. I'm not going to do that. But if you're going to bring it up, you know, you got to be careful because it's not a story time in Jet history, although there aren't any, you know, unless you were here when Joe Willie won the Super Bowl, which he wasn't. He came much later than that. And whether he did a good job as a, as a coach here is not the point. The point is they did not win. So it wasn't a good time because there's no time you're going to harken back in Jet history and come away with a good time which is part of the issue. So when you're talking about, remember, um, I remember I was here with the Jets. Yeah, okay. Those years were not winning years. They were not successful years. And we're not going to go back and relive them. There's no reason to. But if you're going to harken back to them, it's not like harkening back to a time when teams were winning championships or something. That wasn't the case. Should have brought up his father worked for the Miami Dolphins. That was more impressive. And he worked in the backfield with guys like Jim Kick and, you know, Larry Zonka, guys like that. That's more impressive than talking about the Jets. But when someone new is going to come in to a terrible situation that is totally dysfunctional and tell you that everything is great and everything is fine and we're going to build a consensus no one asked the question. 